The belt buckle found at the Sutton Hoo Burial Mound in Suffolk, England is an unparalleled masterpiece of medieval art. The buckle is made of over 400 grams of gold. This is equal to 300 Anglo-Saxon shillings, the price to be paid for the life of a slain nobleman. The early Anglo-Saxon law code specified a man's life price based on his social rank, and this price could be paid to settle a feud that ended in a man's life. This type of blood money was called wergeld. Now we can imagine how intimidating the owner of this five inch gold buckle might have been. Noblemen could watch their life flash before them as they stood in the presence of this lavish medieval adornment. Scholars believe the buckle was likely owned by King Redwald, an Anglo-Saxon king who reigned in East Anglia for 25 years and died in 624. Records kept in the monasteries of East Anglia were destroyed in later Viking raids, and so very little is known of King Redwald's life. The buckle was discovered in 1939 amongst a trove of medieval treasures in a large burial mound that also included an 88-foot boat and a now famous iron helmet. But unlike iron, Gold has the prized quality of never corroding, and so the belt buckle looks like the day it was made. We can clearly make out the intricate design and serpentine patterns. Buckles and other ornaments like this were popular in Northern Europe after the fall of Rome, though there is nothing that parallels the unique artistry of this buckle found at Sutton Hoo. Thirteen individual creatures animate the buckle's exterior. As the different creatures reveal themselves, so does the buckle's symmetrical design. We see dueling eagle heads and dueling serpents. This mirroring effect brings order to the dense, complex metalwork. The interwoven animal design resembles the carvings found on Viking ships, revealing the strong Scandinavian influence on medieval England. The intricate design flows over the surface of the buckle, just as the gripping beast-style carving flows across the hull of the Viking ship found buried in a mound in Osberg, Norway. These creatures were more than just decoration. They were believed to imbue the objects they adorned with spiritual power. The Sutton Hoo burial is perhaps the greatest treasure ever discovered in England. It gives us a tangible link to this dark corner in history.